beautiful sisters and beautiful, beautiful, handsome brothers. Oh, and pretty sisters as well, don't forget. Here we are, I cut it underneath, and you can see it's absolutely a puffball. White and fluffy, just the way you want it to be. So there we go, that was exciting, and I'm going to leave these to grow up more and have a nice little life for themselves. And who knows, I might come back and even trim them, possibly. But don't forget, if you leave some to go to Spore, they'll be germinating new ones for the next year. Yay! Alright everybody, so here we are, a whole lot of like, mushrooms are growing around here. There is a shaggy mane in cap, which I brought home and I showed you pictures of in this video. And there is some puffballs. Here's some, you can see them all coming from the ground there and here's another one puffballs should always be uniform uh, and white and spongy when you eat them on the inside they shouldn't have gills as if they're so if they have when you cut them sideways they should be white and spongy not brown or purple they can be poisonous lookalikes so they should be white and spongy and they shouldn't have uh, to make sure they're puffballs um, some young specimens if you cut this for example if someone made a mistake and they had like um, other structures or things which have yet to develop then that could be um, a very you don't want to eat them you want to make sure it's a puffball so here's a puffball and I, I did, I'm not sure which type of football there's a number of varieties so I'll leave links below this video so you can have a look um, ideally to be honest I should have I forgot to bring my pen knife I think I might go home and get it because I don't want to you shouldn't reef them up off the ground because um, they have like roots these are like the fruits like so these are coming up from the ground from the roots from the living thing underneath so you don't want to uproot it you'll kill it and um, you want to just cut it so it can grow next year and everything else so so if you, this is I put that back earlier today before I went home and got my camera you can see uniform white but ideally you should cut it back here just to make sure and do your research on puffballs and on the internet. This looks like a totally edible one. I'm almost convinced. Yeah, I'm sure it isn't. This is an edible one. So it's either the common one or the I don't know the names of it. But uh, let's see. Here's a whole lot of other small ones. I'm obviously, going to let them grow and uh, appear. Keep growing. And earlier, I collected some of the ones that other people kicked down. Uh, here we are over here. I missed this one earlier, <laughs> so I'm going to bring that home, and I'm going to eat that, to be honest. That's absolutely fine. I know this is fine. So, I'll put it in my pocket. So, thank you, nature. Love ya. This is awesome. So happy about this. <laughs> Here are some decaying puffballs. This is the way you'll see them, you know. Nature comes in all sorts of unpretty packages. Or you call them pretty. I call them pretty. Why not? Ooh, there we go, you see? Brown and decomposing, hidden in there in the leaves. So, mushrooms are always like hidden, like or at least semi camouflaged. Generally, well, often is the case. So keep an eye out. There's some more. These would have been edible, I'm sure. I think they're probably a common puffball. So they're the ones I was pointing at a second ago, and here's some more here. Here's one here. This will be full of spores probably if you poke it. Probably all come out. It's like leathery on the outside and hollow. Here's some more here. Awesome. 